Hey guys, Matt Moreland here, and this week I'm going to break down and review one of my favorite books I've read in the last two years, and that is The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papazon. The point of this book is to help people find their one thing. So what do they define your one thing as? They define your one thing as whatever you can do to make everything else you have to do either unnecessary or easier to accomplish. A lot of this book is around the Pareto Principle, which if you're not familiar with it, that is the 80-20 rule. And what the 80-20 rule is, is 80% of consequences come from 20% of actions. So what this book really hammers in is finding your one thing, your 20% your activities that you can then turn into habits to make the 80% consequences uh, more regular and, and feel like less of a chore. They talk about goal setting to the now. So that starts with setting someday goals, then working backwards to five year, one year, six month, one month, one week, one day, all the way to the now goals and really building your goal structure out so that you can find out what do I have to do right this second today in order to accomplish this week's goal, this month's goal, this year's goal, my five-year goal, and my eventual someday goal. This takes away the guesswork in your goal setting and gives you a clear picture of what you need to do to get from point A to point B in five, 10, 15 years from now. I personally use this goal setting technique in the last three or four years and I've had great results with it, which is just one of the reasons I keep going back and reading this book over and over and also why I wanna tell as many people about it as possible because I think it's gonna help a lot of people. Now, later in the book, they start talking about like icebergs and stuff and that's where they start to lose me a little bit. But the important takeaways from that is that you have to have purpose and priority in order to have productivity and profit in whatever venture you do in life. They talk a lot about time blocking, which if you don't already do this, I highly suggest you start time blocking your schedule and preventing things from stealing your time. Speaking of stealing and theft, the four thieves of productivity are something that they talk about quite a bit in this book, and those are, one, the inability to say no. Being a yes man or yes woman doesn't get you anywhere in life, and all it does is overload you, so you can't take care of the important things that you have to do to get home to your family or accomplish your goals that you wanna take down for your someday goal. Two, a fear of chaos. Anytime you lean into something in your life and give it a lot of time and energy, other parts of your life are gonna suffer because of it. But basically what the book talks about is don't be afraid of not being perfect. Nobody's perfect and no one's gonna blame you. Three, poor health habit. Making your health a priority now is gonna allow you to be more productive and actually be able to achieve those someday goals and be around to enjoy them. Whether that's getting eight hours of sleep a night, eating three healthy meals a day, or uh, getting regular exercise. Make your health a priority now, that way you don't have to worry about it later and you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. Four, the environment does not support your goal. What does this mean? So this could mean physical environment, this could also mean the people that you surround yourself with. In the book they talk about the people you surround yourself with and how you're the average of the five people you spend the most time around. If the people you're spending the most time around aren't a positive influence on your life, you need to surround yourself with people who are better than you and in places where you wanna be. Finally, Gary and Jay really drill in the point that life is all about the journey and making it to the end of life with no regrets is everyone's ultimate goal and making sure you're leaving nothing on the table. I hope you enjoyed this quick review of The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papazon. I highly encourage you to pick up this book. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you have any recommendations for more books that you think I'd like or that I should read, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will check them out. Thank you all for watching.